Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another review from the Bearded Berserker. Me, Matt. Don't know what that was. So welcome, guys, to another review. Hope you're having a fantastic bank holiday, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever you're getting up to out there. And I have another review for you. Now, before we start, a huge, massive, massive thank you from me for all the support from everyone over on Instagram. I'm over there on Viking Beard Matt and on my YouTube channel, because what I set this up for over a year, well over a year ago now, was to try and help small brands, small businesses, small companies and individuals only making some amazing, amazing products. Basically craftsmen, if you know what I mean. Anyone that's creating beard products, skin products, hair products, jewelry, clothing, all sorts of bits and pieces. It's kind of like a craftsman, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not interested in these huge brands because let's face it, they've got a shed ton of money that they can throw into promoting, advertising and marketing their products. So the smaller brands have to try infinitely harder in order to get their products basically into the market and everything and have to compete against these huge brands. Now, each and every review that I do, I'm not affiliated to the brand whatsoever completely unbiased and everything I do is my own honest opinion opinion even I'm not here to be swayed by anything or anyone and I'm not here to blow smoke rings up of brands backsides or anything like that so if there's stuff I love about a product I will say so and if there's stuff I do not like I will certainly say so in a constructive way thank you to all the comments that I've been getting on my YouTube channel and Instagram um, it means so much to me because this this is not about me this is about showing you guys that there is an alternative and I'm finding since pretty much day dot that the alternatives to these huge brands the smaller brands are so much better and I'm, I'm loving their stuff now I've got two reviews for you this morning from the same brand I've done a few reviews for them before and this is from devilishly bearded from the north northeast of the UK and I thank them so much for sending the products through um, the first one I've been reviewing uh, they sent through the second one I'm reviewing I actually bought myself out of my hard-earned pennies and so it's always interesting to see when you do buy something does it live up to its expectations do you get it through and just go oh that's a pile of crap and never going to use it but anyway, we shall see. Now, with all the products that I do review, skin products, beard products, hair products, clothing, all sorts of bits and pieces, I have used them first. This is not just an unboxing because I don't particularly like unboxing videos because I want to know what it's like. Does it work? Does it live up to expectations? It's all very well opening something and go, yeah, it smells really nice, packaging's nice and the contents of whatever doesn't actually do what it says on the tin. So I have actually used these products. So first of all, what was sent through, thank you very much Devilishly Bearded for sending this through. Um, I'm a big supporter of what they do because I'm finding it's one of those brands and there are a number of them out there that are consistent, you know, everything they do uh, devilishly bearded Gus does basically everything the consistency between everything is just absolutely stunning there is no products that are better than others worse than others or anything like that everything is just to such a good high standard so they have sent through put me glasses on because I'm a blind old git and the barista affogato mustache wax so there you go, it comes in a tin, so we're going to look at the packaging for a start. Um, carries their logo on the front, which is the straight edge razor cut for razor, the roses, the brass knuckles, devilishly bearded. Love that is their logo and design, it's just, it's brilliant. It's just one of those things that always makes me, sm makes me smile and feel happy. And on the back, 30 mils used within 12 months of opening. Now that's the most splendid moustache. That's the most splendid moustache wax. Now I've only reviewed one other, I think two other moustache waxes. That was from the Audacious Beard Company and the other one was from Beard Pilot. I have started using a lot more uh, moustache wax since I've started doing these reviews because 
I kind of usually have it in a down, as in sort of like just blend it in with a beard and stuff, but I am starting to kind of like train it to not necessarily curl French moustache wise or anything like that, but I'm starting to bring it out a lot more and everything. And so I'm getting into my moustache waxes. Now, opening this up, you can see where I've been scraping away at it like a madman trying to escape from a prison. There you go. And inside you have a pick. And people often ask, what are the picks for? And it's basically for kind of like scraping excess moustache wax out from your moustache. You can also help, it can also help use as a grooming um, kind of like tool, if you know what I mean, to help try and sort of like get the shapes and everything else out of it and help separate the strands. And also, I do play the guitar electric and acoustic, so they're very handy as guitar picks as well. Quite a nice, decent quality one this is, so get some nice sounds from that. But that is the pick that it has inside, and it's either a hawk or an owl. It's a bird. There you go. I think it's a hawky owl looking owl? I don't know. Doesn't matter. But that you get this inside. Now, the scent from this is Affogato Coffee, which I do like. Oh, barista. Um, I do love coffee. This has got, if you can imagine going down to your local favourite coffee shop, wherever it is, and ordering vanilla and black coffee, this is the scent that you get from this, and it is such an amazing scent. It's, the vanilla's there, but then the coffee's there. The coffee's there, but then the vanilla's there, and they both literally on that same level, and the scent on this is up here. It's absolutely divine scent. I love this. It's one of those things that I just want to put sellotape around my head and just stick it on my nose all day and smell it. It's really nice. Now, as with moustache wax, because it's a wax, it is a very, very stiff. It's okay once you start generating some heat through it and everything else like that because it starts to emulsify, the wax warms up and you can apply it and do your moustache in it. Now, the ingredients within this are all 100% natural. You have shea butter, shea butter, whatever you want to call it, coconut oil, uh, carrot oil, algan oil, and white beeswax as well. And this product is stunning. I love, it's just the scent of it, you know, especially if you've got it under your tash and you get the breeze going through it and it blows the scent up into your nostrils. It is beautiful. It's quite a, it is quite a pungent scent. Not ridiculously knock your head off, but it's well up on my scale. I've got very, very subtle down here. Regular sort of scent, knock your head off scent. This is kind of like around about the three quarters of the way up there. I love the scent from this. This is just a scent to die for. And I'm glad to be honest, because they only do one moustache wax, which is this. And they don't need to bring any more moustache waxes out because this is absolutely stunning um, the hold on it is very very good it's a nice strong hold um, it's not particularly shiny if you know what I mean a lot of the um, moustache waxes and everything else like that kind of give that greasy look to the hair this doesn't this this is kind of like slight shine but nothing too over the top it's nice conditioning products in there as well with the shea butter uh, and the coconut oil and the carrot oil but it's absolutely stunning and 30 mil tin believe it or not you do not use much of this this is not going to be like a beard balm where you can kind of like half a fingernail and stuff i've literally what i do is i take a small amount onto my fingers rub my fingers together then the other three fingers like this work it through the moustache start bringing it out if you so wish to French moustache, moustache it, depending on the size of your moustache and everything. It's a fantastic. I really, really do rate this product, and it's one of my favourite moustache waxes that I've actually reviewed so far. But then again, I've only reviewed two others. And for the price of this, £9.99. Now, it might sound like a lot of money, but bearing in mind the small amount that you will use, which will have a day-long sort of hold on it, you can remould it as well. Um, price for me is bang on point what I would be happy to pay for it and like I say that coffee and vanilla scent is just 
absolutely stunning. And before we move on to the next product, which I will not be scoring out of 20, I'm going to score this one out of 20. 20 being absolutely fantastic, 10 being, yeah, it's all right, nothing to write home about, it's all bog standard stuff. Zero being, I wouldn't touch it with a shitty stick. I'm scoring this straight out, out of the bat, 20 out of 20, because the attention to detail is just as good as their other products. Um, I've got a couple more beard oils to review, or a few more beard oils to review from them. But that scent is one of the things that I noticed when I got this through. It was like, right, okay, we'll have a play around with it, see how it works. That scent. Like I say, they're both equally balanced. On one hand, you'll smell the coffee, then the vanilla. And then on the other hand, you'll smell the vanilla, then the coffee. And it's just so together i love it it's beautiful um i haven't suffered with any itchy flaky skin or anything like that and bearing in mind that all products in the uk have to have cpsr um certification to them which these do have not had any sort of like adverse effects from using it my face hasn't dropped off and i haven't turned into a zombie so happy days but that is the barista afogato moustache wax from devilly devilishly bearded I highly recommend it, and I will be putting links down below, so please give them a check out. Plus, you get a free moustache pick, guitar pick, whatever you want to use it for. And it would be nice, I don't know how feasible it is or anything like that, if you had a devilishly bearded pick in there. Um, whether it's kind of just like a knuckle duster, rose and a cutthroat razor, even just a DB in there, golden DB for devilishly bearded. But it's nice as well that you receive it anyway, so that is fantastic. Now, second of all, uh, next review for Devilishly Bearded, which I'm not scoring out of 20, whether I like it, don't like it, and stuff like that. I'm just going to tell you my opinions of it. As a youth of today, growing up back in the 70s and the 80s, I used to wear caps. I used to do no end of surfing and everything. There's all over wall but caps when I was truck driving and stuff like that. I was wearing caps and everything. As I got older, I kind of like went away from caps. And with winter coming now and less hair on my head, it's like I'm going back to caps, if you know what I mean. Now, the Devilishly Beard, as well as doing their beard products, do a clothing range as well. T-shirts, hoodies, female T-shirts, vests and hats headwear whichever you want to call it and so I bought a flat cap from them that's the first flat cap I've ever had in my entire life um the wife always turns around and says hats and caps really suit you they look good on you and everything else like that and it's like the trouble in life is you roam worse criticist if you don't know what I mean so it's like yeah you might say that but I better look like a twat and so push the boat out spend 18 quid on a flat cap from Devilishly Bearded. A uh, week, couple of weeks later, a flat cap turned up in the post. So from placing the order, the embroidering work being done on it to it returning to me was fine, not a problem at all. Bearing in mind that when I did order it, it was over a bank holiday because I think we've had two or three this month. It just seems to be bank holiday central. And so this is what came through. Now, it's an adjustable flat cap, very similar to cap snapbacks and stuff like that. There's a hole on the back that the little bit um, that you've got left over, you can put away. Flat cap style, funny enough, that's what a flat cap is. And the embroidery on it, devilishly bearded. Really nice bit of embroidery there. Din, din, din. Take the glasses off. Devilishly bearded, I like the colour contrast in it, and I like the way that the design, I could say, with their beard balm, is my horn the right way around? Yeah, there you go, pretty much identical, which is nice to see, and it's my Beachfield original headwear, got the labels in it, and uh, Beachfield uh, sponge clean only, and all the different labels, I've got loads of stuff in there. So, um, I haven't actually read through this. Um, God, my eyesight is not that good. It's, oh, wool, 
80% wool, 20% viscose lining, something or other percent viscose nylon on polyester. So it's a decent quality. It's not thin and cheap. You can see the kind of flex of the wool and everything in it. it hasn't got one of these silly poppers. I hate flat caps that have got poppers in on the peak like this. And it's nice that it is adjustable, so one size fits all, unless you have the head of the size of a pin or a head the size of a large pumpkin. God, don't go out of focus then, sorry guys. And it, I love the way it fits. I am starting to try and shape it a little bit because I do like a bit of a curve in my cap and not these flat modern ones because I'm no longer a youth of today, so. I do put a bit of a kink in the front of it. Fits extremely well. I like the logo on the side of it. It's, I've worn it several times during the hot sun because obviously I have the backs and sides of my head and the backs of my head shaved. And so it's worn well. Interesting to see what it does in winter and how warm it is because I am actually looking at getting another one ordered from them because I know they can get them embroidered and everything like that. I'm looking at one hopefully of getting devilishly bearded on one side, Viking beard mat on the other and bearded berserker on the back just in lettering which would be quite nice to try and bit of support for myself, bit of support for my YouTube channel, bit of support for uh, devilishly bearded but 18 quid, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's last me. There's no signs of wear and tear or anything in it. Um, nice outer lining and everything. So it's a decent quality product. And I'm not here to score it out of 20. Um, if it fell apart within the first time of putting it on, I would say don't go out and buy these. They are shoddily made and cheap, horrible looking stuff. Um, but it is, and you can see all the piping work and where the panels are sewed together and everything. And I love it. And to the point that it's a nice, another warm day out there today, so I'm gonna be wearing this out and about. Uh, try and get devilishly bearded, some more support and uh, advertising for them. But it's a stunning product. But the moustache wax is absolutely stunning. Now, I hope you've enjoyed another review. Thank you so, so much for Devilishly Bearded for sending that through. I, since day one and doing uh, as long as well as a few other brands and everything, uh, just products just seem to be getting better and better and better. So thank you to them. Please keep on doing the great work that you are doing, Devilishly Bearded. I always wait with bated breath to see what else you're bringing out on Instagram and everything. Um, avid follower of you but thank you guys i hope you've enjoyed my review i will be putting links down below to devilishly bearded's clothing site devilishly bearded beard product site so please give them a look up give them a follow and support them thank you guys i hope you have a fantastic bank holiday whatever you're doing whatever you're getting up to so keep on taking care of each other keep on looking after each other keep on loving each other Keep on growing those beards if you are growing a beard. If you're a female and you're growing a beard, do what you like. It doesn't matter. But thank you, guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Keep on taking care of each other. I look forward to speaking to you in the next review, live review, over on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt or on here. Please comment. Have a great day, guys. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.